Hi guys, so uh, another live stream. So two consecutive days, two consecutive live streams. So yeah, anyways, uh, I just thought it would be a good idea to play some games. I hope you can hear me. Uh, if there is any audio problem or anything, please comment down below. Let me know. I'll try to fix it. S let's see. Am I audible or not? I just want to know. Am I audible or not? No PUBG bro. PUBG is not a coding game. I am just here to play some coding games. Maybe play it with you guys together. So I just found this website. Uh, codinggame.com It seems to be a pretty good website to practice coding and learn coding basically. You, you could play games compete with others and yep it's like a competitive programming platform basically so can you hear me first of all volume up okay audio perfect no audio problem thank you right i just increase my audio a little bit so anyways if you don't have uh, if you want to play with me if you want to play this coding games with me you can just come go to this uh, codinggame.com this is the website that I'm using, codingame.com. I'll just put a link right there in the chat so that you guys could. By the way, it's not it's not sponsored. By the way, <laughs> I just found this website, and it's 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 a great website. That's why I'm sharing it, right? So that is the link. I just posted the link in this uh, in this thing. Volume up, all right? I list 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 list. fine now right right anyway so if you don't have an account in, on this on this website you could just create an account right now if you want to play with me I guess uh, 10 people can join in a in a single game we're going to play this game clash of code right so I think uh, one to 10 10 maybe 10 or 8 people can join a particular slot I guess so if you guys are ready i'll just i'll just start this thing please increase volume bro let me actually check my volume just a second i'm muting for a second just just be patient i'm muting I don't find any problem, any issues with the audio. It, it seems fine. I just watched it on my mobile right now. Without the headphones or earphones and it seems to be working fine. I don't know why you guys, why you guys are com complaining about that. Video paused? No. I think that's your, that's problem with your uh, thing, I guess. Is, is my video still running? Yep, everything is fine. Right, anyways, let me create my, the first the first slot. Okay. Join a clash, yes. It's called a clash. Nickname. And by the way, uh, before starting, I'm a newbie to this. I just played like five to six games earlier. Uh, just to see how, how this website works. So I'm, I'm a complete newbie at this. So I may not do uh, this. <laughs> there are mosquitoes everywhere. So anyways. So yeah, I'm a complete newbie at this, so I may not be um, performing well at the beginning. So I'll, uh, we'll evolve basically. We'll try to do good. Is this available? Yep, it's available. Right, so how can I? Guys, I, I'll just copy and uh, paste this thing in the chat. You guys could join if you want. If, if you want, you can join. You have to join fast. It uh, the cl uh, already three people have joined, so it it automatically starts basically in one minute thirty thirty seconds around. So yep.
Meanwhile, I'll just uh, do some settings in my stream to increase the audio bitrate. It says I have to increase the bitrate of my audio. Okay, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. Okay, it says implement a function that accepts a string of 10 integers. Have the function returns in the form of a phone number. So you have to, uh, if you don't see, if you can't see this yet, I'll just uh, zoom in. So implement a function that accepts a string of 10 integers and you have to have a function return those uh, numbers as a string in the form of these, okay. We have to basically, okay, we are accepting a string and then we have to print it in this format basically. Okay, so what shall we do? So let's say uh, first part, this is the first part, we'll consider this as the first part and we will say S of uh, 0 to, it's 0, 1, 2, so 0 to 3. Uh, yeah, 0 to 3. And then the second part, I'll say S 3, 2, what is this? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So six until six, and then the third part is going to be from six to len of uh, len of what is the input? Yes, yes plus one. So I am basically in each variable I am storing uh, different parts, and then I can just print out, print it out in this format. I can use some string formatting. I'll say mod uh, s mod s mod s space mod s mod s mod s dash mod s mod s mod s mod s and now i could uh, just print these things sorry i don't need these many this is actually a s one string so yep i'll say f i first second third so let's see if we did okay something seems to be wrong 14 okay there seems to be some problem some syntax error right there let's fix that got it everything is uh, solved all the test cases are solved i'll just submit that and are you sure you want to submit now right so let's see the result right we got a hundred percent score Pretty well. That's a that's a that's a very good start. I I would say, we solved the first challenge. Uh, nice. I, is anyone from my stream who came to this thing, or is it is it random people? Yeah, yes, I can also use S6 colon, yep, yep, I could, I could, I could even without storing them in variables, I could just return or print the value, but, yep, uh, th that is actually recommended because the, the whole point of this challenge is to have the code size as less as possible, so yep, I'll do it from the next time, so, so just got started, so, anyways, we'll play another thing, I'll share you the clash, and this i'm not i'm not going to how how do i quit this how do i quit this yep i want to exit and is this any is there any way to that i can create a private room just for my friends and s like that Alright, got another
Oke. Okay. Guys, join quick. I'm just posting it in this thing right here. If you want to join, you can join quick. I just shared the link guys if you want uh, if you want to join you could join quick I think it starts in 1 minute 30 seconds so please do come fast if you want to play this Okay, it's starting. Okay, it's another short test mode. So basically you have to pass the maximum number of tests with the lowest code size. Right, so construct a square using the plus characters with width and height as N. Right, it's also pretty simple, I guess. Uh, you could say for I in range zero comma N and for J in range zero comma N. So the outer for loop is responsible for printing, printing out the row and inner for loop is responsible for printing out the each each and every element I guess that, that should do it let's see okay n okay this is s not n my bad my bad so let's try it again uh, all right got it just want to make sure Yep, got it, success. It's actually pretty simple. I, I think as you go, move forward, the level is going to be increased. So initially you will find out, you will get all the easiest challenges. Later you will get uh, more difficult things, I guess. So one guy already solved it. Okay, I, did, I need to submit it. I forgot that. Mm, this guy actually used just 191 characters. I wish I could uh, look at his code actually. The other people are still clashing. Yes, yes, you, you can you can choose any language you want. I'm using Python 3, but you can code on code any language you wish. So, yep. Should I just wait for these guys to complete or should I start a new game? I was just reading, uh, reading whether there are actually bots in this website. So this website claims to be that there are no bots, and uh, it says that as you practice, you will be, you will excel, you will do better. That's what it says, obviously. Start new, all right. I'll start a new game. Play again. Oh no, not this one. Not this one. I'll just start another clash because I, I got matched with the same people again. Anyways, I just paste it right here. So join using that thing, guys. Guys, join using the link I gave you.
I got my book and my pen here in case if I, if, if 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 there is a you know hard to solve problem which I would need to use a book and pen because I'm really bad at memory. I I can't remember things, so I'll have to write everything down literally when I'm trying to solve anything. So it's always a good practice to have a book and pen with you. I could even do it in my paint window, but you know. uh my right pad is currently not working if if it did i used to just do that uh, rough work on 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 microsoft paint or any other thing but anyways the clash is about to start let's see the problem this time this is another shortest mode lowest code size basically you have to n odd natural numbers this is an integer of uh, an integer n number of odd numbers to some line one some of the first n odds i didn't get this input is one output is one an integer n number of odds to sum up wait i didn't get this question your task is to find the sum of first n odd natural numbers so th- is the input going to be ra- uh, a mix of both even on odd numbers or it's just going to be odd numbers i don't know I don't know that. An integer n number of. Oh, got it, got it, got it. So I have to basically. If if the if the input is uh, five, I have to find the first five odd numbers, something like that, right? So yep, got it, got it. I'll just do from one to n plus one, and then if I mod two equal to equal to not equal to zero sum equal to sum plus sum print sum i just put sum equal to zero right there mm found zero expected one what okay this says zero right there let's try another test case found zero i didn't get this what is the input right here and what is what is supposed to be the output L- sum of first n odds an integer of odds to sum up so we are basically getting and sum for i in range 0 to n if i mod 2 equal to not equal to 0 sum equal to sum plus sum what did i do here what did i do here still some error found 600 let's just wa uh, right okay we solved one test case let's see the one last test case what about this test case 49 expected 196 anyone solved it yet nope this seems to be a pretty pretty simple problem but i don't know what's what's wrong here i actually did not understood the question understand the question it's an integer n number of odds to sum up any any help in the comments sum equal to sum what just take sum equal to 1 and add 2 n minus 1 times yep that's that that's uh, that's yep that that would work sum is equal to sum plus what's that 2 into n minus 1 right so it's going to be 2 into n minus 1 doesn't seem to work Let's move back to my previous code. At least show me the input that you are giving so that I could 
standard output stream. This is the output, but what is the input so that I could just go through that. Yep, I could in increase the iteration value to two, to two. That's a good idea to do, but let's actually, okay, let's do that. I equal to one, two, n, comma two. And I could just remove this sum equal to sum plus i, I guess. Is, is, isn't this correct? Fi i in range 1 comma n. So 1 is odd. So then it will be 3, something like that. Why is it not found 0, expected 1? Mm. Right. If, if. Why would you initialize sum equal to one? Why would you initialize sum equal to one? I, I'm pretty sure you would not initialize sum equal to one. I'm pretty sure this is how you, this is, this should work if I understood the question correctly because, okay, I'm initializing sum equal to zero first and then I'm starting a loop which ranges from one to n or okay n plus one right one to n plus one so it starts from one it goes to n plus one and the increment value is two so first is going to be one so sum equal to sum plus one right it's going to be one and then uh, next next iteration i is going to be three so three is going to be added to one like that yep it should work pretty much let's try other test cases none of the test cases are working why For loop n plus one, yep, I, I am actually trying n plus one. Just twenty five thousand nine nine. These these are two different like lots of difference between these two values actually. So is zero considered to be odd number? Even if it's considered, it has no value. So I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Okay. So this should work. I don't know, one guy seems to solve this problem. Let's actually submit this and uh, see his code. Yep, he shared his code. This is what he did. N into two. What, 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 what happened? So he took, he initialized sum equal to zero and he said uh, I in range one comma. Why did he say N, N into two that right there? Okay, I think I misunderstood the question. Why did he say n into two? They, I, I think they pretty much said that you have to, he, he did score it 100%, so this is perfectly right. He said n into two, so it literally iterate twice the number of n. Why, why, why? Yep, I tried sum equal to sum plus two into n minus one and it did not work. Maybe we just misunderstood the question somehow. Anyways, let's move on to the next, uh, another clash. Okay. Is this the, li is the link same by the way? Um, am I just repeating the same link? Is it the same link to join the clash? I don't know. Just join it if you want to play with me guys. Just, just pasted the link in the chat. Oh, for one, 2000 number, I didn't notice this thing. I didn't notice that there are any other conditions. Maybe I just messed up there. Anyways, next time I have to read the question more carefully. Okay, anyone joined or not? Guys, join fast if you want to join. Um, Oh, it started. Shortest mode once again. An ODS number is defined as a number with an odd amount of ones in its binary expansion. Four is an example of this as it is uh, 100 in binary and thus is an ODS number. Output true or false depending on if X is ODS or not. Okay, first of all, we need to convert it into binary. Let's actually see if there is a predefined function 
in python convert decimal to binary python if there is a predefined function okay there seems to be no predefined function nope this is decimal to okay there is okay this is a predefined function uh, this is not a pre it says return bin of n let's try this thing let's try this thing right here What is the format of the output? True or false? Perfect. Okay, this code size is pretty big, but let's see. There seems to be some decimal to binary is not found. All right, I'll just move this function up. yep right got it so bin bin seems to be a predefined function using which you can convert decimal to binary so yep uh, hopefully i did not uh, have to write a code manual code to convert it convert a number from decimal to binary so yep right make a video to use fluxion i already made a video to use fluxion it's actually available on my website you can just go ahead uh, go to techraj156.com and go to videos tab and then you could find the video i actually remember making a video on on fluxion so it is probably available on my website check it out no i don't have a degree in, i'm actually pursuing uh, a cs course right now so i don't yet have a degree right so can i play again yep i can play again once again join me guys video is not clear that maybe that's you that's the problem with your uh, internet connection bro because my uh, stream quality it shows here in my dashboard that my stream quality is excellent so maybe it's the please show the code meanwhile i missed i i think i can't show you the code it's it's gone i can't get it back So yeah guys come fast if you want to join uh, i think it's it's going to start in 40 seconds around so just come fast and honestly i do agree that i can do a lot better uh, keeping the code size uh, as less as possible but 
this is this is the this is my first time playing this this kind of coding game so yep i hope you understand that low audio i don't think so just a minute Oh, it started. It started. I missed that. Reverse mode. So basically, I have to guess what to do by observing the set of test cases, right? So I have to look at these test cases right here. This is the input and this is the output. So based on this, I have to write the code. I, I knew this because I played this reverse mode once before, just just before starting the stream, because I want I don't want to come blindly to the website, obviously, because I just want to know how it works and stuff. So yeah, by the way, I'm using Python, Python, Python three. To do, you could, you could actually switch the language here. Could change any. Oh, anyways, we started the challenge, so I should be doing it, right? F is fifteen. Five is five. What? What? F F is two fifty five. What is the? What is the ASCII value of F? Mm, or D of F capital F is seventy. So why is it fifteen? Seven. Okay, so, um, Seventy minus fifteen, fifty-five. So, what is the ASCII of uh, five? This is kind of like an aptitude test. Basically, I have no idea how to solve the problem. You have to look at the sample data given, and basically, based on that, you have to do it. So, yep. Let's see if you could do that. Four B six eight one nine three zero four. How is this related, guys? Any any help in the comments uh, would be much appreciated. Let's 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 be a team. Let's be a team. I I wish you could. See, I hope you can see these uh, test inputs and outputs. So we have to figure out how these inputs and outputs related, and we have to modify the code. So first one, when the input is five in the test case two, when the input is five, the output should be five. When the input is capital F, the output should be fifteen. And when the input is capital F F, the output is two fifty five. Mm, when the input is four B six eight, the output is one nine three zero four. How could they be related? Fifteen into fifteen is two fifty five. Yep, that. Oh yeah, yes 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 yes. But how is F fifteen? All right. But we have to know the value of f, right? Firstly, to get started. Yep, this is uh, one thing I'm sure is when there are two characters like this, you will have to basically calculate the product. So it's already established that the value of f is 15. So f f f is going to be 15 into 15 to 55. Okay, I got that. But how is the value of f determined here? F is equal to 15 in hex, right? X hex, right? Let's calculate the hex. There is a hex function in Python. Let's actually see hex of f. I don't think uh, f is fifteen in hex. I don't think f is hex. F in hex is uh, fifteen in decimal. 
all right let's check out the hex function but I, I still didn't get this how how do you convert hex uh, f into hex you have to convert it into its ascii form and then you have to convert it uh, into this right oh but if i do that it's going to be hex means uh, the ascii of f is going to be 70 so hex of 70 is 46 not uh, 15 Just print integer of number comma 16. Let's see what, let me actually try it in my Python shell firstly. Int of number comma sixteen is not uh, is not working. Okay, three people have already solved the challenge. I think I'm just going to view the code. I don't want to spend more time in in one challenge because I want to. No one shared the code, guys. If you if you are, if you if you are the, if you are playing this you, once you submitted your result you'll have the option to share code so you can basically do that basically share the code so that others can view it if you, if you guys are watching this please do yep Rithik Rithik please click on view code so that I can view your code uh, right uh, someone share the code so that I can see the code So there's this option like uh, which says share my code you can just click on it and then other people in your in your uh, clash will uh, will be able to view that so just do that Okay, so it's basically converting from uh, hex uh, decimal to hexadecimal, is it? Right? Okay, got it, got it. Right, we did not solve two challenges until now. Uh, let's try more harder. This time, let's try to challenge. Uh, Solve this. Okay, there are only three slots, uh, three slots left in this clash, guys. So just, uh, just come, just come, come fast. Join fast if you want to join. And by the way, Rithik Ban Bandari actually solved the uh, solved the previous challenge. So shout out to him. Okay, what was the question? A DNA strand is composed of a series of uh, nucleobases commonly referred to as A, C, T, and G. Every strand is a complementary strand which presents the complementary nucleobase for each one found on the first strand. Reminder, A is complete complementary to T, C is complementary to G. Your program must read a DNA sequence from the standard input and print the compl complementary sequence to the standard output. I did not understand the question. I read me, let me read that question again. A DNA, DNA strand is composed of a series of nucleobases commonly referred to as A, C, T, and G. Every strand has a comp complementary strand which presents the complementary nucleobase for each one found at the f on the first strand. A is complementary to T, 
C is complementary to G. Your program must read a DNA sequence from the standard input and print the complementary sequence to the standard output. Input DNA, a string containing characters ACT, a single line contain. Okay, let's see the sam sample input. It's ACCT. It's pretty pretty. I think you just have to replace the characters if I'm if I'm if I'm right. Is that contains at least one characters? Okay. Right. Let's actually s uh, store a dictionary. If 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 I understood the question correctly, this is uh, the simplest way to do. Store a dictionary. A is complementary to T. So A is complementary to T and C is complementary to G. And then just got to replace. Uh, search for replace in Python. String dot replace new comma old comma new comma count. How does this work? String dot replace geeks with geeks. Three spring the string replace in a three concurrence of three. All right, got it got it you could say uh, dna dot replace what's the syntax of this it's old comma new comma count so old is going to be um, never mind i'll just say for i in d dna dot replace First, I have to check if uh, i is in DNA, and then I could say DNA dot replace, and then I can replace the character with another character. So the old character to replace is uh, i, and I want to replace it with d of i. Mm. And then I can just print out DNA not sure if this works let's see okay found and this is expected so found ACCT this is expected ACGT it's not replacing I guess it's not reverse it's not reverse the, the only the input and output happens to be reverse but you, if you read the question you can see that uh, basically I have to replace a with t and c with g that's the, it, it's not reverse right for i in t for okay what the hell did i do here what the heck did i do here okay this is going to be i and uh, if i in d for i and d so we're iterating through each key value here and then we are checking if that key value exists in dna and then we are replacing this i with d of i must work is not replaced I'm just how am I just replacing a I'm, I'm, I'm actually looping through all the key value base right? all the keys basically right so how is it let's try another test case all of them are failed found C expected G You know what? Let's let's do it the other way then. Let's not use the replace function. Let's do it manually. I'll say for i in DNA, and I'll say if i equal to this is uh, a more complex way of doing it, but I don't have any other option. The other other thing did not work, so I have to do this. So if i equal to a, then I will have to replace DNA dot replace a with what is that g t yep t
What's happening in the chat, guys? Why is it not replacing? How much time do I have left? Right then. What's the next thing? Yeah, it's C. Then we could say DNA underscore new is equal to DNA underscore new plus uh, G. Else you could just print out DNA underscore new is equal to DNA underscore new plus just print out I. I'm just printing DNA. How dumb of me. G G G G. Why the fuck is G not replaced again? G is not supposed to be replaced, right? Why is G replaced to C? Oh, it's a two-way. So basically, if, okay, got it now. Basically, if you have A, you have to replace it to T, and if you find T, you have to replace it to A. It's a two-way thing. Got it. That's why the previous things did not work. But, anyways, let's do it. DNA underscore new T is going to be A and then if it's G you replace it with C it's going to work now but yeah that's that's a pretty simple problem and I took a lot of time for, for that right so let's view others code if no one is sharing the code no one is ready to share the code right guys uh, it's a pretty simple problem but still yep yep you are supposed to replace t and g as well yep i just i just realized it so i took a lot of time solving it it's actually a pretty simple thing right okay uh, let's start another game and just give me a minute guys i got to pee very badly so i just i'll just be back i'll just be back
came back join quick guys starting in one and up Integer with how many names will be provided followed by a list of those names? job is to create a program that will return a person's degree which is listed after their name in the input an integer with how many okay input is going to be an integer with how many names will be provided followed by a list of those names some names can be very long and may contain a title mr mrs sir professor and some may contain a degree watch out some names can contain hyphens every name will contain at least a first and last name each name with a degree will have a will have a comma following the name much of some names can't contain hyphens every name will contain uh, at least a first and a last name each name with a degree will have a comma right following the name degrees can contain capital and lower characters the degree based on the uh, based at the end of the person's name if there is no degree input n by a. each dedicated one line okay got it constraints this is this this is the thing to okay james morrison bas Right, so let's see how the input is taken. They're taking number of inputs and storing it in A, and then for I in range A, name is equal to input for I in range A. Okay. Each thing is separated by a comma, so maybe I can just uh, I can just say degree is equal to. Um, I dot split of I can just split it with comma and if there is no comma then this is going to return an error so I'll just enclose it within a try catch block and then if there is an error it means that there is basically no degree specified so n by a uh, and then we could say we get print out degree and I could just say one right here expected BAS okay degree is equal to I dot split comma of one you print it out just a minute you can print out the error exception not error just want to see what the exception is that's it so integer some exception with integer int object has no attribute split great I'm actually doing it for uh, going to be a is the number of inputs and then for i in range name is the input that we are taking and then we are doing for i in range again let's actually put this in a in a loop
basically why do you need this loop here you could just do it right here you could say degree is equal to degree is equal to i dot split it's not i dot split it's going to be name dot split print degree this must work let's see okay um, I'll just strip it list index out of range what should work now it's pretty easy as well the other people are still clashing I guess what's happening in the ch what, what's going on in the chat Fruity, I, guys I think Fruity VPN this is a fake account so just ignore him Maybe I'll just block him from the channel, or from the, from this thing. This is pretty much fake account. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to quick kick this guy out. Don't don't pretend to be someone else, guys. Just use your real real account. Don't impersonate someone. Okay, uh, I'll start another one. Guys, I just, uh, I just, I think I removed Fruity VPN from the chat so you can't see his messages. It's basically a fake account, guys. Don't even. Uh, think about that. It's a fake account, so don't bother about it. <coughs> Starting. <coughs> Oops. This is the shortest mode. So you must add one of the th st and trt to be given integer so it returns it uh, returns to an ordinal number an integer an integer and concatenated with one of th okay input one is going to be first second third okay how do you determine what to add it's going to be first second third fourth fifth second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth so from for uh, one it's going to be first and then second two it's going to be second three third fourth fifth right only for two and three it differs for all the others i think it's uh, it's going to be second st right is it let me just write it on the book just to me just to be sure i told you i'm not good at uh, dealing things with by keeping them i don't have much ram to be <laughs> in speaking in computer computer terms so one is going to be first, two second. Okay, got it. Let's say L. Okay, let's say D is equal to, and then we'll see. For one, it is going to be. for all the others four five six it's going to be fourth fifth six seventh eight something like that so for all the other cases we can just print it out so we'll say if uh, uh, n in d print 
n plus t of n uh, some syntax error let's convert it into an str Want? Why is it want? What? D of n. Not D of n. Holy shit. You gotta take the key value. Oh, okay, you gotta take the value of value of that particular key, and you have to append it. So for n in d dot keys, you could say d of uh, of n. Yeah, that is that is that is correct. I guess that is correct. I guess I'll just say n is equal to str, not string, not uh, the other way around. Yep, it should work. It's basically a type conversion issue right there. One or third. Oh, got it. I I even have to check for three digit numbers. So what I'll do here is I will say if n of uh, minus one in the office that must fix this issue pretty much. Found nothing. What? Key error eleven. What's this thing? Okay, success. Why is it printing nothing? Okay, okay, there seems to be some uh, runtime error, that's why it's printing nothing right there. It's saying key error 11. Uh, I'm basically taking the last character. Let's try it on my Python shell. Let's say 133. And if I say st of uh, minus 1, it's going to be 3. Yep. Um, t dot keys print str of n plus d of n. Oops. The key error occurs when there is a, let's actually try this thing on my Python shell. If you, if you can't see what I'm doing on the screen, it's basically, I'm working with my command prompt with on the Python shell. So I'm not capturing that window because uh, the display capture is not working on my OBS for some reason. So I'm using window capture. So you can't see the command prompt that I'm using. So that's why you would not, you would not be able to see what I'm doing. So it says uh, D of L, okay, all right. So for some reason, the key is 11, but how the key shouldn't be 11. Why is it 11? Get the last character of this thing. I 
how many test cases we do, did we pass? We passed six test cases. One twelve. What? 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 Why did this whole key come here? I'm taking it as an STR and then I'm saying if n of minus 1 in d car dot keys, I'll just say d okay, the same error basically the last test case passed key error 11 why is 11 coming here I'm just extracting the last character as much as I know I'll just maybe put something colon like that let me try it in my thing right there st is this so I'll say st of minus 1 to this yep um, we'll try with this maybe it works same error once again All right, I got it. Got it. I forgot to basically I forgot to update the, the same thing there. Same error again. It says levenced. What levenced? Eleventh. Uh, okay, it, because it's a one. It's saying uh, st. So eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twenty. I think I took more time solving this. Let me submit it. Sun voice toda pada. I'm I'm trying my hard to put the volume as high I can as I can. I'm speaking very close to the mic also. By the way, how many pe person, people are viewing my chat? 31 are watching the chat. Nice. By the way, guys, I just wanted to know if you if you got a notification uh, from uh, about the stream or not. H how did you come to this stream? Did you get a notification or uh, you found it from your YouTube's homepage or anything or through the subscriptions tab? How did you come? How did you get notified about the stream? Please let me know. I want to know. Uh, by the way. Uh, I, po I posted a link in the chat you can join if you want you didn't get notification then how did you get notified about the stream you came from the YouTube's homepage or something? Homepage, fine. So you're not, you guys are not getting my notifications, are you? Seems like you guys are not getting my notifications. Play some NCS music. Yeah, I just play after the after after I I'm done with these challenges games i mean maybe while i'm exiting the stream i'll just play it the thing is i was not able to i'm not able to concentrate uh, on these challenges basically because i have to stream and it's basically ki kind of nervous for me because i'm doing it for the first time i'm playing a coding game for the first time so yep maybe um uh, I'll get used when I get used to it I'll just perform well okay this is a reverse mode basically with the test cases you will have to this is basically like an aptitude test so if it's zero it's printing out zero it's printing if it's four four it's printing out it's basically printing out the last thing so it's basically printing out the last character so I'll just say print of str of uh, n of minus one that should do it maybe uh, 
int object is not subs subscriptable what did I miss a bracket somewhere I'll just change this to str and then I'll just say n of minus 1 that must do it I don't understand the le uh, the progress of these levels guys because sometimes I'm getting a little bit harder ones and sometimes I'm getting easier ones like this this is basically just print out the last character that's it let's play another one Okay, you have to pass uh, with the lowest source. Okay, shortest mode, right? You must output the sum of digits of the exponent exponentiation of two numbers. Example, the input is two, seven, eleven. Right. Line one integer x for the base, an integer y for the exponent. Sum of digits, okay, we have to, okay. So I didn't read the sum of digits. That's why I was wondering, how is 2 power 7, 11? What's 2 power 7, by the way? Anyways, let's do it right there. Just convert that into an str and I'll say for i in str and then I'll say sum is equal to sum plus int of i. And let's print sum. Okay, type object is not iterable. Line 15 for i in str. What? I said. Next, why did I say str there? It's like e exp basically. This is also pretty easy. It's done already. Right. Let me read the comments for some time. Use math.expo. You could actually use the double asterisk operator find the exponent it's actually pretty easy. Raj can you make a wordpress series I'll definitely try to make a wordpress series I came from the YouTube subsection tab subsection tab all right I think you mean subscription tab but anyways Play NCS music, fine. I'll just play NCS music. I'll play it from my Chrome. NCS programming music. Thank you for coming. 
quick shout out to you. He drops spam as you as you can see I am writing some code. I, I was actually not able to concentrate so I I couldn't read the comments too. So that's why I did not read the comments. Bro, can I play play this coding game? I'm, yes, bro, you can join. I'm I'm actually uh, every time I'm starting a new clash, I'm actually posting the link right. You can just jo join using the link. Pretty easy to do that. Right, let's play another one. I'll share you the link. How do you uh, got it, got it, got it? So I just shared you the link. It's starting already. It's a reverse mode. Five five four nine seven two four two four uh, five. So it's basically two four five. Seven, nine, right? I think it's. Uh, what about this? It's going to be okay. It's basically sorting, I guess. I guess it's just sorting, I guess. Yep. Let's say li equal to list, and then value is equal to int of i. But what? What? N is equal to int of input. All right, and then input dot split. Value is equal to int of i. Right. I'll say li dot append of int of i, and then I just uh, print out. I just say li dot sort. I'll just say for i in li. Failure found to expected what 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 okay I got it. I have to print it in the same line. Expected nothing. Expected nothing. Why would it expect nothing? But it clearly says here that the expected output is two four five seven nine. And my output is also 24579. Why is it saying expected nothing? Let's try another test case. Once again, what? Okay, there seems to be some error or some issue with the test cases actually. Because you can see here in the question they gave the expected output is. Uh, for, for example, for this input, this is the expected output 5812. So that is exactly the output I'm getting, but still it says failure. Why? Why is it expecting nothing? Did I miss anything else? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is this is actually correct. My solution is actually correct. Guys, did I miss anything? Let me know in the comment section below. Yes, Sublime Text is actually pretty good for Python. You could use Sublime Text. Yep. Spaces, spaces, no. You can see here it's saying it's expecting nothing. But here in the question they said this is the expected output. I just don't get get it. So this is the this is exactly the output I'm getting. But still it's saying error failure. What's this?
Shivam Kumar, hello, welcome to the stream. Space, I am, I am actually including space here. You could, you could see there, but still, it says something is wrong. Okay, now I think it's we are be talking. Again, it says expected nothing. Guys, I think this is this is definitely some some issue with the test cases they provided. This is definitely issue with the test cases. I'm actually reporting. This is exactly what I did, right? I appended, created a list, and I appended the value, and then I just sorted it out and I printed it out. That's what I did. Anyways, let's play another thing. seconds left join fast guys You are given n strings. Calculate the average uh, of the alphabetical characters as key code in those strings. Okay, only the alphabetical characters as key goes in those strings. Then output the first character of the string with the lowest and the last character of the string with the highest average. In some of, in some case, in case of some averages, always use the string that appended first. There will always be at least one alphabetical in every string. Let's see the input output this is the input k okay, number of things and then you're saying o and then k calculate the average of the output in those strings then output the first character of the string in the list there will always be at least one alpha numerical character not quite understand the question yet just calculate the average of the alphabetical characters ascii code in those strings then output the first character of the string with the lowest and the last character of the string with the highest average but first just let's calculate the average of the alphabetical characters so we just took s as an input Let's calculate the for i and s, j and s, and then
is a function which is used to say is character in Python. Let's just use that function. Is alpha. Right, is alpha is a character. So let's say uh, j dot is alpha. I just calculated the average. What to do next? What is that sound? No one has solved the challenge yet. I think the question is quite confusing. Calculate the average of alphabetical characters in ASCII code in those strings. And then output the character of the string with the lowest and the last. Put the first character of the string with the lowest and the last character of the string with the highest average. Oh, we don't have any dislikes so far. That's pretty good. Okay, got it. Basically, I have to calculate the average for both the strengths, and then you have to uh, take the lowest average and print the first. Okay, got it. Got it now. How many? How much time you have left? We have eight minutes left. Right. So we took uh, input, and then we are saying for I we are taking S as an input, and now we are saying for J and S, J or these alpha, and we are calculating A B G equal to A B G plus the ASCII of that, and then finally we are calculating the average of that. Let's actually append the average somewhere. I will say average li is equal to some list, and then I will say average underscore li dot uh, append of avg. And finally, once that is done, I will say avg underscore li dot sort. That's going to sort it in uh, in what order? In ascending order, I guess. Yep, it's it's it's, it's in ascending order. Now that we have the ascending order, we take the first element of this of we take the first thing basically okay instead of saving this in uh, avg underscore li dot avg so instead of actually um, we need to get the string right so that we have to uh, along with this i also save another thing say char li character li and just like this That wouldn't work, wait. We just need to print out the character, the first character of the highest average thing. So, we, when we get the highest average thing, maybe we could store it uh, in a dictionary, something like that. Maybe we'll just uh, do it a dictionary instead of a list. And then I can say avg underscore li and I'll just put the average value as the key and for the value i'll just put the let's say this the whole string s right and then how do you sort this uh, how do you sort a dictionary in python 
I think it's Google it. Short dictionary by key in Python. Okay, just take the key values. So I'll say avg underscore li dot keys is going to be a list and then I'll say sort. Right? And what happens next once you sort it? You could just go ahead and display, take the first, uh, print the first character, first character of the highest average, right? Is it first character of the lowest average? Okay, first character of the lowest average. So it's going to be avg underscore li avg underscore li of avg underscore li dot keys this is sorted off uh, the last value same way I'll just say everything is for the light of sorted of and then I also need to print out the first character right of both these things so whole thing I'll just print out the first character of both these things. That's the secret first. Okay, this piece has no attributes. Sorted, not sort. That's the thing right there. Z, but I think I'm printing it in the wrong way. Funky volume pump Yep, I decreased. Let me just print out sorted. Let's see what's the thing we're getting. We have just two minutes left, guys. We have to do it quick. Uh, sorted uh, is a dictionary that contains the average as a key and the string as its value. So, sorted of uh, we first need to print out the first character of the string with the lowest average, right? So, we have to uh, get the lowest average. It's going to be basically zero. So, zero. to basically say avg underscore li of sorted of underscore of zero let's actually see what we are getting right here okay got it now you just say zero if you do that if you okay got it now uh, just copy that paste that and i'll modify that this time i want to go for the last value found O. Where, what happened to K there? 
Why is it printing only one character? I want to print it. Print okay. Mm, now it must work. Why is it saying O Z? Oh, the last character messed it up once again. Okay, now it must work. Multiple words. This seems to be some error with the test cases. Let's try other test cases. We passed three test cases. The other test cases, there seems to be some error. Found AZ, but we are expecting CZ. The thing is, there is another condition. This is a condition which I did not pay any heed to. It says, in case of some averages, always use the string that appeared first. There will always be at least one. This is the thing that I did not consider. That's why these test cases did not qualify. Right. We are running out of time anyway. So, well, 50%. We scored 50%. That's pretty good. That's all right. Noob. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, boy, Shadi. I am a noob. I am a noob. Where are you from? I am from India. Do you know Telugu? Yes, I know Telugu. Alright guys, I think it's time to end the stream, it's already 10 o'clock, so I'll be going. So guys, before I go, let me know about, uh, give me some feedback about the stream today. Let's, uh, let me know if I did, I probably did, I did not do as good as I did yesterday, I can, I can see that for sure. Well, I was basically not able to concentrate uh, on these challenges because this is the first time uh, for me to solve the challenges while streaming. So, yep, I'll definitely improve guys don't worry about that i got it but just let me know about uh, let me know what you think about today's stream um, any 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 suggestions how to improve it anything anything just let me know let me know i'll just wait for uh, five more minutes to see all your suggestions so just comment down uh, in the chat i'll just read it please don't spam please don't spam please don't spam please give me suggestions Guys, I, I honestly need to update a moderator from tomorrow to, to stop these spams. Guys, I have to kick you out if you, if you, if you spam like that. Please. Please upload a video once a week, alright. I'm actually trying, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying to. Even I want to upload a video once a week. But I should get time, right? So. Guys, I'm waiting for the suggestions. Uh, what do you think of today's stream? Uh, how do you think I can improve? How do you think I can improve? Uh, any suggestions? Um, what should I do in the next next stream? Uh, please let me know. Please let me know, guys. Try more hard in next video. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, obviously, I did not do well because I'm a newbie for this website and also I'm streaming at the same time. So that's the reason. Don't worry, I'll just, uh, I'll get it done from the next stream. Maybe I'll do pretty good. Come with the website. What do you mean come with the website? Increase mic volume, talk with chat. I'm trying I'm trying to read the chat whenever I can so and increase mic volume I'm, I'm doing the best I can to increase the mic volume guys this is the best I can do best volume I can provide for now because if I increase the volume a lot you will get a lot of background disturbance background noise because my fan is turned on so come with all website check what do you mean come with okay are you talking about uh, the coding games website all right i'll do a little more uh, practice on the website before i come 
from the next time just 20 people are watching the stream right now they might have probably left it's time it's time it's time to go to bed i guess for most of the people it's 10 o'clock shivam kumar hi hello and by the way the video the video about the the challenge is going to be uploaded uh by this tuesday by tuesday yep for sure by tuesday i'm, I'm making it right now so you'll see it can you keep the mic little closer well if i keep the mic little closer it's 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 making me uncomfortable to type basically so i'm doing the best i can are you from guntur yes i am from guntur maybe from the next time i'll try to speak a little more louder that way you could hear me more hear me better i'm very exhausted right now i'm feeling very sleepy also so that's one of the reasons why i'm not speaking loud and why i'm not really active on the stream too shyam kumar don't post such messages all right guys i think it's time to leave uh see you in the next stream i don't know when i'm going to stream next so hopefully i'll try to come tomorrow try to come tomorrow um with another coding game not not the same game but another game another type of games so yep bye guys uh, good night have a nice sunday tomorrow and uh, get ready for the new video on monday or tuesday on the next monday or tuesday so yep thanks for joining everyone thanks for all your support keep supporting and hopefully i'll stream tomorrow maybe at the same time if not at the same time maybe morning i'll try to come with some other games or stuff so yeah i'll meet you then bye good night see you